Hey guys. So today. 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 I am I know you people you've been bored all day and you don't wanna read. Sometimes you have to if you're at school still or you're not at school still. So you have to read as a thing. And you and you don't have audio books. I've got you covered. I'm going to be reading. Now obviously I have a ton of books, I have chapbooks, storybooks, anything, really. So yep, today I will be reading this. This is about a I'm gonna read the blurb, okay? When Michael saves his dog in a cliff top rescue, he comes to the attention of his schoolmates, the police and a strange organization called Uni. What uni mean? Revealed is extraordinary. I think that we're gonna call it unicorn. Uni, uni, unicorn. We're just gonna call it that. Is ext extraordinary. They claim they can tell him what happened to his father, who disappeared three years ago. That was a while ago. But what they want in return is dangerous. Something supernatural that's hidden in my very bones. I do. If you're a little bit bored of this book and you can't sleep, which I'd like you to tell me in the comments. I do have a little book to stop nightmares and I read this book all the time. I can almost memorize all the pages. So I guess we should start on, get to chapter two. We're gonna get to, okay? One, chapter one, dog. It was the day Mum took the coast road to school. The day I tried to save a suicidal husky. One day before I began to wonder if my father was still alive. Mum, why are we going this way? Moaned Josie. The car had hit a pothole and bounced my sister up from her video game console. She rubbed her window with the side of her fist and I saw the wide green spaces of Berry Head beyond it. Just a few hundred yards to her right lay the cliffs and the spiralling drop to the sea. I already knew how Mum was going to answer. I'd heard the radio broadcast at breakfast. A burst water main on the outskirts of Holton Byford. It didn't take a genius to know there would be hold-ups on our normal route to school. We're gonna read five pages every day, okay? Just wanna let you guys know. Let's get back onto the book. Flooding, Mum muttered. Grun crunching the gears. The Range Rover lurched and slowed a little. Mum hit the gear stick again, forcing the car into third. She was a pretty good driver, but she'd never got to grips with the manual shift. Flooding? Josie wrinkled her nose. She questioned nearly everything Mum came out with. It got them into arguments, but not today. The car slowed again, then rolled to a stop. Mum sounded like a tire deflating. Best laid plans. I could almost read it on her lips. What's the matter? I asked, closing my book. I was halfway through a story of the illustrated man. Please, she said. Cool. Josie cranked her neck sideways to see. She liked the police and wanted to join them when she was older. Oh. She had a mind for criminal detection, she said. She was smart. My sister. There was no denying that she was into Sudoku and crosswords and stuff. But it didn't take, but it didn't take much, but it didn't make her Sherlock Holmes, not yet. I could see the cars now through the slanting drizzle. Two of them angled in to block the road. 
their roof lights circling like bright blue whips. We had the wheels to go around them, over the grass, but Mum wasn't the type to run against the law. She fussed with a curl of her hair and waited. A policeman wearing a yellow coloured jacket walked towards us, making window signals. Mum hit a button and her window slid down. The salt tan of the rain washed sea, washed sea swept in, bringing the cold of early spring with it. The policeman took off his hat. Despite the rain, there was sweat on his brow. I'm sorry, you'll have to turn back, he said. He had a thin face full of shades and angles. The dark shadow of his cloak shaved cheeks. Echoing the raven black crop of his hair. That is where we're going to end it today. So, I will be talking to you guys tomorrow. Sorry I didn't post, but I've been a little bit stressed. But obviously, I've still got school. So, yeah. But I've been a little bit stressed. So, I mean, I guess I will be um, doing whatever. And I, if you like it, I will be reading more books. And doing stuff like that. Art stuff. Doing stuff for Tell you what you could do while you're bored, and I guess I'll see you, Evies, tomorrow. See you, Evies, later. Bye! I love you guys. Do well during quarantine because I'm definitely not. Bye!